Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Classic Reddit. Today we are reading a post by Naval Battle 12. What would you do if you were the last person on Earth, but household utilities such as water, electricity, and internet still worked properly? Very little would actually change, except not having to go to work. A bit more breaking and entering for food, and a lot more public nudity. A response, it's not breaking and entering if no one else lives anywhere. It's all yours, baby. Haha. <laughs> Post by Brit Vic. Travel around, staying in mansions and cool places. Use the internet to learn how to fly a plane so I can travel further. But I probably crashed on my first try, so that would end things pretty quickly. Flight simulator is a thing. Flashbacks to last man on Earth. I'd rather have a helicopter, so I could have more options for landing. Granted, fuel would be more worrisome, I feel. By Mr. Blees. Probably check out places that were previously off limits. Fort Knox, Area 51, see if there's really a hole of records underneath the Sphinx, Seed Bank, etc. Edit. I did mean the Sabard Global Seed Bank, not Bank. You know how to fly a plane? Really going to want that skill set if you plan to travel to all of those. Which seed bank? Fort Knox and Area Pretty Area 51 are probably littered with landmines and booby traps. Browse Reddit until there's no more content to read. What? Bots would continue to post. It's true. By Eat Me Drink M3. I've always wanted to live in a big grocery store. Just walk around and eat whatever I want. The dream response. Until it all goes out of date. <laughs> Never thought a comment that I had totally forgotten about would create such a discussion about food and electronics. Then head to the Best Buy to get some new electronics and also some smash some of them. Imagine having a C's candy all to yourself. Oh, I hope you like chocolate. By annoying 15 year old. Comment last in every YouTube video. <laughs> that would take some serious time. Probably sleep and have a wank. Wait, that's just everyday life. Zelda fan 812. Get a boat and a car. I don't trust myself to fly a plane and see the sights of the world in peace. You trust yourself to navigate a boat across the ocean? I'd even consider a simple plane. Granted, you're smarter since I'd probably crash, but it's still worth considering. By back to back, I would commence to wonder if all those utilities, water, electricity, internet worked on their own, why did I pay all these monthly bills? No, 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 they need to be paid. It's just that aliens feel bad for you being the last one alive, so as pity, they're paying it for you. Trust me, that wouldn't work for very long. I work for a utility, and infrastructure is very needy. Well, I, I would steal my neighbor's food and watch YouTube. You can do that now. Probably, I would search for another living person for the rest of my life. Well, isn't that what we all do with our lives anyway? You try and find someone you can tolerate who also tolerates you, and also happens to have correctly oriented organs compared to yours? I see a lot of people saying they'd have a wank. Would you not at least go get the most realistic sex doll you could find? OP said you're the last person on Earth. Never said anything about animals. Oh, I know, right? That's why I said I'd get a vibe. By Monkey Joe. Find a sweet house on the coast, reasonably close to a grocery store and gardening store. Lowe's or Home Depot could do. Maybe a gun store, though that could be a once in a while trip. Love to find a 3080 graphics card, but those would still be somewhat scarce. <laughs> this guy's gonna scour the world to find an expensive graphics card just into some ghost house. <laughs> the 
There's a building named Linus Media Group in Canada. I think you can find half the world stocks there. <laughs> it's like Fallout. Knowing me, I would open Reddit, close it again, and open it again. <laughs> Forever in a loop. By Welfare Clairvoyant. Head to the Pentagon, NASA, uh, NASA and Area 51 and get a ride to then go find out the rest of you for leaving me. Why? They said last person, not last creature. Aliens aren't human. I'd find the greys in Area 51, raid a dispensary, and have a bowler time with the Ayamos. Go steal the keys to the best car I could, drive to Beverly Hills in Hollywood Hills, and go live in my dream house. Break into houses and find drugs in my spare time. Hunt for food. Animals would be in town shortly thereafter. Subsist on found drugs on the weekend and meat for food. Live about five years this way before dying to something stupid like a drug-induced heart attack or a car accident driving 300 miles per hour and not being able to do surgery on myself. I would be satisfied. Gasoline expires, so probably not a car crash. I feel like most people would do something routine and end up accidentally dying, or have some kind of medical problem and in no way solve it. A comment by Jasir. Waste my time to create another human. To be fair, depending on your gender, you could create one with preserved material from the opposite sex. Alternatively, there would be absolutely be laboratories already set up that you could find to try and do it yourself if you're of the male gender. By uninteresting, no, interesting, Debate 81. I'd love to go into a store and break everything like that scene in Zombieland. Also, move into Buckingham Palace. If the Eurostar is still running, I'd move into Versailles. I would be pretty busy freeing and feeding all the cats, dogs, birds. This made me sad because there's no way you'd get to every pet shop and shelter in time. That was my thought. I'm sitting here petting my cat, thinking about all the sad animals who'd be trapped in their houses. Step one, free the fur babies. Step two, learn to subsist as you continue to free the fur babies. Step three, become queen of the feral animals and care for your pack, clouder, herd, or flock. It would still be lonely, but at least there would always be someone to love. By Winterclaw42, food would be an issue, especially in the long run. Part of me says I'd try to work on a monument or something that proved humans once were here because most of our structures will be gone in a few centuries. Good point about food. So move to a place where food grows naturally year round and is fresh water. There are plenty of foods that plant themselves. You just have to know which one will take care of themselves in your climate. Moving somewhere like the Bay Area would ensure that you could grow almost anything. Many farms have already planted for you, so you just have to know when things will be ready for picking, but honestly, planting your own would be better. Within just a few years of no people, fish would be a plenty, and a person could live on what you catch and grow very easily. I personally, says Bop Crop, I would go insane. Good point, Bop Crop. Short and succinct. By Ali Deck. First, I would move more than a hundred miles away from nuclear reactors, which means, oh shit, I'm going to a small coastal city in Mexico where the Pacific has no memory, and I would probably fish. Maybe garden some fruits or whatever and be able to relax. I would also probably end up putting a fence or a group of soccer balls and talking to them all the time. Tandy? Hey you, volleyball, not soccer. Even if I was the last person on earth, I'd go get money from the bank, deposit it into my account, and pay the debts. <laughs> That's how much my student loans stress me out. This is a realistic answer. Canadian 47, figure out who's a bot. Still posting equals bot. By Kahiri Love, wank on the top of as many historical buildings as possible. Thank you for the awards. I can do whatever I want. Uh, lavish harmonica. Impregnate myself with sperm from a sperm bank. Problem solved. My kids can grow up and the woman can at least do the same, assuming the electricity really keeps. Genetic variation eventually and I'll have someone to talk to in about six years. 
Good luck giving birth to many, many children to have enough diversity, which will also take loads of time because the gestation period is nine months. Finally, get enough sleep. There's a wrecking ball crane not too far away already in the city center. Make a bunch of babies out of frozen eggs to save the earth. You're the last human left. The earth is saved. <laughs> a response by Silas the Firebird. Yeah, but that only works if you're female and know how to implant them safely in yourself. And considering the healthiest ages to have children are 16 to 35, and the possible ages can be going off of the highest and lowest that I've heard, which are extremes, 5 to 75, you need to hope for more females than males, raise them for several years, and teach them the procedures, as you are now a ticking clock. Not to mention, you would need to find a sperm bank too, and sperm expires. That's assuming that IVF works for you, because it's not always successful you would waste a lot of eggs. It also depends on where you live. If you live in a place with a high population, chances are the children will be genetically diverse. If not, it will be the same result as inbreeding. None of this will work if you don't have a uterus, as the fetuses will still need one to develop. Then you have to survive childbirth without anything for the pain or the help. And if a baby is breech, you both die, painfully. A response by Bostro. I'd go on mission control and talk with the astronauts on the ISS space station who are probably freaking out and about resupply missions and everyone on Earth being dead. Astronauts are actually extremely difficult to freak out, as they need to remain calm even in extremely taxing circumstances, but I suppose they could be very concerned, which is the normal person equivalent of freaking out. Wow, guys. I'm floored. Seven years and four months later, and I finally got a popular comment. Ah, that's right. Humans only die on Earth. They still have the Soyuz model up there, so they could come home. There is a good anime that I wanted to recommend here, but this correlation is a pretty big spoiler for that series. Like, last few episodes spoiler. So, if you still want the recommendation, see below. This is very similar to what happens in Dr. Stone. The entire population of Earth is turned to stone, and the astronauts have to do an emergency landing. Then, over the course of many, many generations, they are able to spread across the world again. Sounds like Dr. Stone with extra steps. Is everyone just pulling from the plot of Last Man on Earth? Hmm, post by Alisade. Food would be an issue. So, find a good farm, commune, and some of the long-lasting prepper companies, and make sure I have access to the basics. Then it's a decision of what the point is anymore, beyond survival, I mean. I don't give up hope, so I guess try to learn and design an interplanetary SOS. It's not likely, but it's something to do. When not working on that, uh, read, write, explore, take breaks where I travel a bit, maybe? Not sure, I'll need to, but it's hard to predict what I'll need. This is all assuming there's not like 7 billion bodies rotting and causing massive disease and killing me almost immediately. A post by Xbox Series A. Create a base of operations where I will be protected and can grow my own food. Utilities still working would be great, but you'd still be effed in other areas. Fresh food in the shops would go bad. Eventually, you'll only have canned and frozen goods left, and even those will have a shelf life. Animals will come back into the cities when there's no people or cars. COVID lockdowns have shown this already. So you'd need protection from the carnivores. Transportation will eventually be an issue. Fuel expires. I suppose you could get an all-electric vehicle and recharge that whenever, but you'll also need to know car maintenance or just get a new car whenever, assuming there's an ample supply. And other components like working car batteries will eventually be harder to get. Hello, Last of Us 2. Plenty of land for growing food and farming animals, completely enclosed and with rooms to live in. 
if I could get all of the food sorted out and can get over the fact that everyone I love is gone, I'd probably set up a routine of farming and video games. In response, ah, a long day of grueling farm work is done. Time to play some games. Launches Stardew Valley. Food is easy, just have to find the nearest Costco. Got enough fridges and freezers to store most perishable food, and you'll have enough time to set your farm for the long term. You probably need to get some weapons just in case you need to hunt or defend yourself. I would drive a train. I'd love to drive a train, that'd be so cool. I love trains. For the love of golf, says, I'd have to find a pack of dogs to accept me and then live amongst them, I guess. That'd be cool. Depends on the dogs. You got some cool dogs? I'd like you. Glass Teeth 01 says, Record myself wanking off in places where you are definitely not supposed to wank off, like a courtroom or the prime minister's office or a throne. And if I'm feeling brave enough, broadcast it to every corner of the globe, like a live stream kind of thing. Turns out you just can't see humans, but they can still see you. Ha, <laughs> twist. Bell Ruckle says, randomly go into other people's houses to see the layout and try and find hidden things too, no doubt. Embroid Bumblebee says, commit suicide. Too lonely. By the way, I'm not attempting suicide. Realistically, I would probably find it too difficult to go through with it. But thank you to anyone who was concerned about me. Fair enough. The only realistic answer here. Eventually, everyone would either want to die or just passively die from loneliness. Humans are uh, social creatures, pack animals. By Danica, Danexta159, probably, probably forget and try to play an online game, be confused as to why all the servers are empty, and blame my internet and spend the next few hours unplugging it and plugging it back in. Realistic. Hackdog with cheese says, better take note of what utilities might fail, especially the dangerous ones like nuclear power plants. Release every pet and animal I can because I don't want them to die inside cages because of dehydration and starvation. Save as much information of humanity as I can, then hopefully pass away with the okay finger sign. When aliens discover my skeleton, they'll find a note that says, got him. And after that, where to find all the information I've saved and to please take care of the animals, especially the dogs and the kittens. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you would like a human narrated Reddit search, comment below with your favorite one. If you find something fun, interesting, useful, share it with us, and I will make a video reading it. If you're interested in trying out this software, then also comment below, let us know. We are open to finding other users who want to create YouTube content and are open-minded to working with the development team that is changing the tool so that we can monetize the videos. This is the goal, right? Because you can't monetize automated content. It specifically is against YouTube's policy. So what you have to do is have a system to create content very fast, like it's automated, but you still are doing a human element, right? So that's the idea here. How can you make as many videos as you can in a quick amount of time about a wide variety of different subjects and actually get some kind of audience growth, right? So if you're interested in that, let me know. Reach out to us. We want to talk with you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.